Hey, uh, hey guys. Uh, well, um, it's a continuation of my last video. So last video, what we did was uh, we secured the root account, root account uh, using MFA, and also I have deactivated it. Okay, deactivated the MFA immediately. Um, you know, just to show, just just to show show you guys. Uh, if you guys want to keep the MFA, uh, that that is very good. Um, okay that is one thing now in this uh, video we just want to show you uh, uh, you know uh, okay you have secured the root account so so what is next so next is the so next is create don't use the root account for anything don't use the root account for any daily task going forward okay that's it now second one is create instead create a new user and give correct permissions which we will talk about it okay correct permissions for daily tasks okay so this is what we're going to do now i'll just show you in the console how it needs to be done so i'm going to the browser database.amazon.com sign into the console when you hit in the sign into the console i'm in the root account right now so i'm just hitting on iam on the left side when you hit on I am, um, since I have deactivated in the last video, I did not reactivate it yet. Maybe I'll do it later. So for now, and on the left side, just click on users. Okay. So this is the first time we are creating one user. So add users, click on add users. And then I'm going to give uh, Samir underscore admin. Okay. Something like this. Then uh, I would be explaining these options in my later videos, but for now, just let's go with the flow okay just select these two and uh, i'm going to click on custom passwords i'm going to give some password for this okay and um, i don't want to i don't want to check this box if you check this box so uh, when samir admin logs in then it will automatically ask you to change the password okay so i'm just doing like this next permissions so don't add anything for now click on next tags don't add anything next review create user so that's it now we created the user okay and i'll talk about what is this access key secret access key everything later and for now just click on download or csv file okay this is nothing but this will contain whatever you're saying here okay the access key and secret access key when we are working with the AWS CLI this will be helpful uh, maybe in next couple of uh, after a couple of videos I'll be explaining about this when the topic comes yeah so now it is downloaded yes so if you want to see what uh, what exactly this content is see these two things are there okay cool uh, <clears throat> now I'm just going for uh, click on close okay now Samir admin is created okay Samir admin is created now on the left side just click on dashboard and in the dashboard on the right side this this area you can see account ID account ID is nothing but you it is a unique ID which is assigned to my AWS and account alias is the same number okay and what is the URL for other users who is trying to log in for your account okay so I have created a user called Samir underscore admin if that guy wants to log into my AWS so the, he needs to log in to this URL that guy should not log in aws.amazon.com no okay so we have to provide this URL okay say for example if I if I copy this and then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to new in private window enter okay see the difference between this okay when you type in it's it okay when you type in here so when you type in here aws.amazon.com so it's asking you to hit on sign in and then it's asking me okay i think it's taking the cash again okay so one moment so i'll explain you again just give me a minute i'm copying the url okay and i'm let me open the chrome i think that will do best So, so if I'm the Samir admin, I'll just log in with this. This is a URL difference. Okay, and then <clears throat> hit enter. 
so this is the account id which was taken from here okay this is the same account id and this is a username samir what is the username i have given i'm sorry I forgot samir underscore admin samir underscore admin and the password which i have set it up and if you want to remember this account you can remember this account if you don't want don't do it okay so i'm just hitting on sign in now see i got access i got access to samir underscore admin okay and this is my root account say this is my root account okay so i'm just putting both the things here just give me a minute okay cool cool so guys see and uh, see the difference here okay so i just do like this okay guys so which is a root account so root account is this one so this is the root account okay this is a root account okay and this is my admin account this is my admin account okay so now if you see the difference here uh so both are you know after you logged in both the urls looks same but uh, url is entire you know definitely different if you see this the url for all the users they have to log in with this id only this is the account id and then some urls adding it okay but if you're logging with the normal root account you will always log in with this one which is aws.amazon.com and then type in your username and password later okay so this is difference and one more different is um, i'm just talking about this one mainly uh, which is say for example this one samir underscore admin so this one and this one okay so this is uh, this is a root account and this is the uh, admin account which we created okay now the next thing is say samir uh, i'm just sitting on okay let me Okay, let me clear it all okay so here I'm gonna go for uh, I am here recently visited I am and uh, this is on the left side this is root and on the right side this is my you new user admin account which I created okay so I'm just sitting on I am so when I hit on I am here on the right side okay I'm just sitting on users and users here happening okay see you need permissions on the right side because if you remember when I create the users uh, yeah if you remember on the left side we have created the Samir admin user in the root account inside the root account uh, we did not add any permissions at all okay we just created just a user so that's why on the right side on this right side we do not have we cannot access any services if you click on analytics if you click on athena for example it will give an error stating that api error or it is not uh, you know if you click on um, <coughs> if you click on query editor and then see fetching group okay or if you hit on services and then if you click on uh, let's talk about ec2 okay i'm just typing ec2 here so ec2 here click on it so if you hit on EC2, so see, it says AP error, AP error, you cannot work on anything, okay? So you, it, it will not work, okay? So um, so what you have to do right now is uh, on the left side, okay? Um, so I'm just sitting on, I'm going to users in the root account, okay? And then users. And then uh, I'm just sitting on Samir admin. And here i'm going to add some permissions okay now what permission samir you can click on this and then attach existing policies directly i will i will do an exam an entire session on policies but for now just come with the flow and i'm going to give the administrator access okay this is a policy administrator access and then scroll down so i think just give me a minute I'll make a big screen for now okay so I'm just sitting on next review add permissions 
okay now if you go for permissions administrator access added to Samir underscore admin okay now what's next now so now if you say uh, on the right side okay this is Samir's right Samir underscore admin now if I go to EC2 dashboard I will not get API error I can see any I can see everything okay now you can access analytics Athena and then for example see you will not see any error it because why why because here I have added administrator access permissions so now going forward this ID would be your admin ID so you can do everything okay um, without any issues okay so instead of using root account we can use this admin account okay so this is one thing I would just want to um, you know uh, share with you guys uh, on this video so in, in the next videos we will talk about we'll try to create multiple users and then we will try to give few policies to few um, so that's all from my end uh, for today guys okay so let me post another video with uh, other uh, groups and uh, roles yeah thank you